Okay, so I'm going to introduce an idea here, and it's something called the tangent line. And what the tangent line is, is if I have a given function, for example, this quadratic function here, the tangent line is a line which passes through a point in that function, and at that point, basically is going the same direction as the function is. So the tangent line is a line which is going the same direction as a function, and as you move this line, you'll see this tangent line is going this direction here. At that point, that's basically the same direction a function is going. So this is obviously not a mathematical definition, but this is sort of a, uh, a way to understand what's going on here. So let's not worry about the uh, formal de mathematical definition until later. So as I drag this around, you'll notice that the tangent line moves. And I could, if I had a graph, actually draw this tangent line myself. You may also notice that if we look over here, the slope of this tangent line is 4. Well, why is that? Let's look at this line for a second. If I put a couple points on it, let's say here and here, and then maybe I throw in a couple line segments so we can see the triangle here and uh, here, and maybe I'll try to get that to be a little closer to a 90 degree angle, you'll notice that this goes over one square, sorry, just trying to fiddle here, over one square and up four squares, so the slope of the tangent line must be four over one, the change in the y value over the change in the x value, so the change in the y value is four, the change in the x value is one, 4 divided by 1 is 4. That's why the slope of the line is 4. So if you want to calculate the slope of the line, of any tangent line, you just basically you can draw a triangle and measure the change in y over the change in x. And we could, of course, draw this triangle anywhere. So if I take this point here and I drag it up to another point, uh, let's choose an easy point like that. We drag this point over here. Well, now it's 2 over a half. Well, 2 divided by half is still 4. So the slope hasn't changed. Now, something important to remember is that slope is the same as direction in this context. So the slope of a line and the direction of a line are really basically the same thing. We can also calculate the equation of the tangent line. And that's a little bit more complicated. We're not going to get into that in this video. But it has an equation. And you can calculate that equation of a tangent line once you know this point. We'll do that later on. For now, I just want you guys to focus on the idea of being able to find the slope of this line relative to any point on a curve. So if I, oops, I don't want that point. Uh, let's delete those points. Hang on. Um, so the objective here is to be able to find the point of any line, the, sorry, any tangent line, any line, any tangent line on a function by finding its slope. And then what we're hoping to do today is to take an equation like this, and I'll give you a list of equations to work with, and you're going to try to find the slopes of tangent lines for particular values, and then graph those values, and try to see what does this equation, uh, this slope of a tangent line, look as if we string it together and make a function. So, try that out, and we'll see how it goes.